Hello, welcome back. In this video, we're going to work on our customer inbox, and yes, this shall be remarkably similar to the admin inbox. However, there's going to be a few key differences, and those key differences start with the site settings module. So if you could open up the site settings controller, and I want you to build up a function called underscore get uh, support team name and the idea behind this is when a customer receives a message an internal message from us and by the way this might even be the case with emails okay the question is how are you going to refer to the support team are you going to refer to the support team as admin technical support customer care you know or even a name chico salamander who knows right but this is something that may change from website to website. So it's nice to build a little method that's going to handle that. And in this case, I'm just going to say name equals customer support. That'll do, okay? So chuck in anything you want, and that's the vibe. There's another thing that I want us to set as well here, and that is going to be get welcome message, and it's going to take in a customer ID. So the vibe is when somebody creates an account on this website, when somebody, you know, logs in and they go to that welcome page for the first time, we do not want them to be looking at an empty page. Can you handle the vibe? We do not want them to be facing this totally empty, crappy page. That would be a bad vibe. So we are going to send a little welcome message to every single customer who signs up, okay? It's going to be automatically generated, and when they log in, that message will be ready and waiting. Now, in this example, I'm going to give them an internal welcome message, but you could give them an email. There's no reason why not, but this is the vibe, and here we go. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load up store accounts, Okay, now store accounts, if you remember, has got a thing called get customer name. Okay, so we're going to say customer name is this store accounts get customer name. Okay, and uh, with get welcome message, we're passing in the customer ID. Okay, so we now have the customer name, and now I'm just going to build up a a message right so I'll say hello and a uh, customer name now this will probably not be anything worth bragging about but we'll see what happens um, message also equals so it would be something like um, thank you for creating oh gee sorry thank you for creating an account with CI shop, I don't know. Um, if you have any questions, oops, is easy about any of our products, oh, I'm so sorry, and services, then please do get in touch. We are here seven days a week, I don't know, whatever, seven days a week and would be happy to help you. I Say whatever you want, you know. Uh, message also equals regards and I'm just going to add a little human touch here. David Connolly founder <laughs> okay I'm laughing because I always think that when people say founder it just sounds so egotistical you know anyway who cares they get a message right so they're gonna get a little internal message now that's that let's do the inbox 
Okay, so I'm on PHP my admin here and I'm going to run a little query so that we have some test data just to test the thing, okay? And we've had some fun and it was nice setting up the admin thing, but now I'm going to basically ruin the whole thing. And I'm going to do that by saying update inquiries set sent by equals zero and then comma sent two equals one okay so that's the query let's run it okay and then we'll just have a quick look and you can see that now uh, the customer has a whole bunch of messages that have been sent from admin to the customer okay Okay, now before we build this inbox, this is probably a good time to break the bad news. I actually made a little mistake on the last video and I'm just going to quickly show you what that was. It's no big deal, right? It'll take two seconds. If we look at this fetch customer inquiries thing, we had a query that looked something like this, okay? And when we run this thing, it's going to go like that and it's going to return an empty row, okay? So this is actually not entirely right. What we need to do is change this underscore sent by to underscore sent to. Oh yes, indeed, that's the vibe. And that will actually do the trick. So just to prove that this is all cool now, eh, I'll just paste in and we change sent by to sent to. Hit go. Hang on a second, uh, oh yeah, sorry, one, here we go. Okay, so that's cool, and it was just a little tweak we have to do, is that cool? I'll hold the screen here for a few seconds, so you can see what's happening, and let me move this down. So I'm just changing this sent by thing to sent to, and we're changing the sent to from zero to customer ID. Now actually, we could have just done select all from inquiries, where sent to equals customer ID. You could do that if you want as well, you know, who cares, right? Okay, so are you cool? Good, let's rock and roll. Now we've got a thing here called customer inbox, which looks thoroughly miserable. It looks something like this, okay? <laughs> it's just not happening at all. However, we did previously build something that was kind of cool called view inquiries. Do you remember for the admin panel? Do you remember? Well, why don't we copy this stuff? I'm going to copy this all and I'm going to paste it into customer inbox. Now remember folks, this was made on an entirely different template. So some of the icons might not work, some of the CSS might be dodgy, uh, who knows, but who really cares? I just want to get this thing working, you know. So uh, I'm out here to save time and let's rock and roll. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to hit refresh and there is the inbox, okay. And now we're going to take a trip to Tweak City, USA, okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this date sent here. So um, you can see that date sent is calling upon the time date module get nice date and the format is full okay now if we open up time date for a little reminder you'll see that we have a whole bunch of formats here and as a matter of fact i just noticed a mistake that should say cool in the comments there anyway we need something that's a bit shorter so i'm gonna go with mini Okay, that will do me. So let's just do that. Customer inbox, time date, get date, and mini. Okay, so save and refresh. And now the date is a lot smaller. That's good. Everything looks a bit neater. Nice. Thank you very much indeed. Next, I'm going to use this site settings thing. Okay, and remember this get support team name. I'm going to call upon this right at the top here. So we'll say this load module site settings and then I'll say team name equals this site settings 
get support team name maybe I should space it like that okay and the vibe is we're sent by equals zero we're gonna chuck in the team name so let's save that refresh and you can see that it now says sent by customer support so this is starting to look kind of okay kind of okay um, this bit here that says inbox is not too cool I'm gonna take that out where on earth is that? Now this is all to do with this fluid nonsense here that we really don't need, okay? We don't need, we don't need any of that actually. So I'm going to just take all of this stuff out. And I'm going to take all of this stuff out, okay? So that's that and I'm just checking, yep, 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 everything looks good. So let's do that, save, okay? So it's coming together, it's uh, coming together, not looking too bad. Next, uh, these buttons are rubbish, but we've also lost the envelopes and that's kind of uncool as well. And in fact, now that I think of it, I don't like the top here. I think it would be better if it was black with white text or something like that. So let's just change that as well, okay? So I'm just gonna say style equals background color, um, shall we go with black? Okay, and then color white. Let's just see if that works. I have not practiced anything. And that is awful. So maybe not black. Let's go with 333. Save. Head on back. Uh, well, can we live with that? No, I'll make it a bit brighter. Let's go with 999. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 666, right? That's the one. That's the one. Okay. I can live with that, okay? Now, we've lost some envelopes and whatnot here. So, do you see how on the very first table cell, it's trying to draw an icon? But look at this. I mean, these, these icons don't work. So, we need to go to the Bootstrap site. And we need to go to components. Here it is here, in fact. And the vibe is we've got this envelope icon here, okay? And we're going to use that, right? So it looks something like this vibe here. Okay, and the thing is called, is it just, it's envelope, right? Here we go. So let's change the icons, right? So if it's opened, they're going to get that, and this is going to say envelope, like so. But if it's not open, if it's a brand new message, then they're going to get an icon like that. But it's going to say, say style equals color orange. Okay, save that. Let's have a look. Okay, so that's not too bad. I'm actually quite happy with that. And now I suppose we just need to fix this part at the end here. Uh, and that's going to be quite good. That will probably be the end of the video. So let's do that, okay? Now for this, I'm going to just have a bit that says view, I think, with an icon, you know? That'll do me. So let's just say something like view. And then we'll add in one of these vibes here, you know, uh, like that. Now it's not gonna be an envelope, but I just want to see how this looks. Do you know something that, I never thought that would show, but that was kind of, that was kind of a happy accident, actually. I didn't realize this was in a, a button, you know, I'll change it to eye open. Folks, I actually think that looks quite good. Uh, maybe if I change the thing to a default button, it will be better. Let me just see. I was going to make it text. Well, I'll tell you what, I think that looks not too bad.
Okay, so let's just leave the page at that for the moment. I'm sure there's other tweaks we could do, uh, but we'd probably be here forever. There's probably CSS errors as well, but that's okay. Let's just march onwards, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.